right now, uh, instead of uh, we instead of uh, if given with verbal phrase and translate it to a mathematical or algebraic expression, we are now given with algebraic expressions, and it's now our turn to translate it into verbal phrase or English phrases. Now, just a disclaimer: since we are translating a Ver, uh, a mathematical, ready-made, algebraic, or mathematical expressions into a verbal phrase or an English phrase. Since there are many keywords that may that may tell tell what operations is being used, and then we can uh, even arrange it differently, especially for addition. Then there are many ways to translate them. Okay, so the uh, translations that I will be sharing to you right now is just few of the examples. You can make your own translation as well. So let's start with number one. Number one here, right, is the is the expression m plus n. Okay, m plus n. So basically, just simply reading it, the first possible translation here is m plus n, right? Let's make, change the color. Yeah. That is one of the possible translation because when you just simply write m plus n into algebraic expression, you will get that. You will get that um, algebraic expression. Of course, you could use another. As I mentioned, this is just few of the possible translation uh, verbal phrase. You could use the sum of m and n or even say the sum of a number m and a number n. m is added to n. Um, m increased by n, yeah. But basically, that is one of the uh, easiest or the um, simplest uh, translation for number one. Number two, 2m minus n, okay? You might say, ah, I'm just reading it, sir. 2m minus n, okay? That may be your translation because that, that is how you read number two. But you need to specify what is the translation of this. Okay. Because in uh, you need to sp specify the translation between 2 and m. Okay, this one. That's just say 2m minus n. So you need also to write it the, the, the possible translation for 2 and m. Take note that 2 and m, okay, is separated by a multiplication, a process of multiplication, right? So you might say here, so instead of using that, again, I'm marking this one, this is in, yeah, not yet final because you need to simplify, uh, you need to say or share what would be the possible phrase that will tell, uh, say out, that will give us to M. So you, you, are, you might say possible answer here is the product, of two and m, okay, and then the product of two and m less n, or you use the word minus n, and the product of two and m minus n. But of course, this might also be very vague. But just simply uh, go to the uh, sequence m does. So when you say m does, multiplication is over subtraction. Or first to be to be considered first, so you will say the product of two and m will be treated first, okay? Minus n. Of course, you could have that, or let me write it here. Let me move number three here, because I have told you earlier there are many ways to translate them. Okay, these are just a few of the examples. You could also say, or use the 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 the, the term twice because it means two. So you say twice m less n. Do not use less than, huh? Do not use less than because it might revert or uh, interchange the mean and subtrahend. So twice m less n. That is possible translation for number two. Again, you it may have you may have many different translations for each of the given here. Number three. Uh, before number three, as I have mentioned, there are many ways to translate all of these. So if you have translated or given the equivalent English phrase um, with uh, not similar to mine, as long as it's logically correct, it might be acceptable later on. Number three. So you could have here three m cubed and squared. 
you could say that 3m cubed n squared but again you need to specify what is a, the, the, what the operation what is the operation between 3 and an m cubed so you could just simply say here right? you could uh, use this translation the product uh, 3 m squared or the square of m and sorry and n cube uh, by the way it's past tense because it already has the symbol squared and m cube so you have that or you could say 3 multiplied to the square of m multiplied to the cube of n you can also use that okay as long as logically correct number four in number four there yes there are many translations here but there is important aspect in trans in giving the english phrase for number four because if you will say this if you are going to say uh, my translation sir is x plus y over two if you will use that okay out from that without looking at the given out from that let's translate it so if I'm going to translate it into equivalent algebraic expression, I might say x plus y over 2. Why? Because you have here y over 2. Again, m the sequence. D division is prioritized for first the addition. This means this will be considered first as instead of that. So y over 2 will become this, then x plus the result. Right? So we need to translate it in such a way that it will not give any other forms of algebraic expression. So x plus y over 2 is a confusion. Okay, again, why it's a confusion? Because over the division might be considered first, then addition, which is plus. So y over 2 may, may be this one and then x plus will be later so what would be the better translation of this you could actually use okay we need to uh we need to determine this as one we need to get this uh, take this as one so we need to give its translation as one and what would be that so to make it as one we could just simply say the sum of x and y by saying that, you're already, you're already saying that x and y is treated as one, okay? And then, is divided by two. This is a better translation than seeing x plus y over two. Why? Because when you read this, the sum of x and y, we're already taking the, sum, the, uh, the process of addition of x and y, which will be divided by two, okay? So again, this is not the same as that because the, number, the red trans translation here or English phrase might give this translation here. So the sum will be treated as one. Or some of you will say uh, half, or yon. that is also another good translation. You could also say, I'm moving five here. So I could write here another one. You could say here half, half. We say half, that's already over two. Half of the sum of x and y. When you say half of the sum of x and y, you're already saying that you are taking first the sum of x and y and have it, meaning over two. Half is another special keyword for division by two. Let's have number five. Number five here is a very simple process of addition, but we have here the... Um, Dissertation for equality. So you could use the keywords for equality. So you could simplest. I'm our simplest. I'm going to give you the simplest translation. X plus six. Sorry, that's plus. X plus six is eleven. Is is the keyword for equality. Or you could say X plus six is equal to, or X plus six equals eleven. But never use is equals to that's grammatically incorrect you could use x plus 6 yields 11 x plus 6 gives 11 or instead of the term plus you could use the sum of x and 6 is 11 the sum of uh, 
x increased by 6 will resolve to 11. Those are the possible translations for number 5. As I have mentioned, there are many different ways to give the English phrases of each of the following algebraic expressions because we have different keyword, many different keywords that may be used. As long as look at number two and number four, you need to specify the operations separating each of the terms and then make sure that when you try to rewrite the English phrase, it's like what happened in number four, rewrite the uh, the your English phrase in going back into mathematical expression, it should return to the given. If it will not, it is confusing. That means you need to choose another one. But so again, because again, there are many ways to trans to give the English phrases of each of the algebraic expression. So this is now the last part or the second part of translations. So you need to master this, including the first video, so that when you reach problem solving later on, I'm not saying it will be very easy, but you might experience with ease. That's all. Goodbye.